This Marshall Code 50 just came in. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing to show what it comes with. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get let's get rolling. Well, here's the power, and the warranty card. The watt amp, code 50, uh, Bluetooth. It's got 100 presets. That's what it says on the box. Uh, 50 watt connected amp. Dark tweed. Um, it's cool, nice little design. I tried one of these in the store when they first came out, and uh, I think it was two fifty. So with tax, it'd be like two seventy five, two eighty, something like that. Um, so I saw this one on sale, and uh, yeah, I went, get, went ahead and got it, and that's nice, I like that this goes down, um, there, yeah, there's all the settings, there's the effects, pre-effects, amp, um, modulation, delays, reverbs, Oh, you can even choose the cabinet. That's pretty cool. All right, but well, that's uh, that's pretty simple. Let's um, yeah, let's give it a try. So I guess this shows you, so the text is pretty tiny, uh, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but it shows you there's a, it's a 50's British on that one. This is EL34. That sounds really good. Um, I wonder if this is all um, Marshall amps, or I wonder if they have more. Um, if they include like Vox and Fender, because Vox and Fender, they always put a Mesa Boogie, they always put a '59 Twin, they put a Vox AC15, AC30, um, and then they put a, a Marshall JCM. So uh, sometimes they put a Plexi. But those are the, the popular ones that almost all ant modelers put into their uh, into their gear. So I'm just wondering if this one does a uh, any kind of fender. But yeah, I can tell from just from this one, this is gonna sound awesome. <laughs> So 
that's cool. Let's go to this plexi. This is that crunch. Sounds really good. This is a CL American, I don't know what that means. That might be a Fender. But let me take off the reverb. Let me take off the delay and the reverb. It sounds like it's trying to do a, um, a Fender. But uh, I have to take a look and see what amps it does. Old school. It's on a 50s British amp. I don't know what that means. Now you can change the cab. So this is why I like these amps, because uh, it just has all these built-in effects, and it's cool for recording. A couple more, and the camera's about to die. So, but yeah, most of these are sound, they just sound like a Marshall, which is fine. I'm just, I'm just trying to get the general idea. Yeah, it's gotta be the Fender sound on this amp. I just gotta mess with it. It might be too much, uh, too much middle or too much bass, something. Yeah, camera's about to die, but that's just a general thing. Um, it's a hundred presets. I don't know if I'm gonna make a video that's gonna go through all of them, but who knows? I might get bored one day and do that, but uh, for now.